we just spent hours building this entire setup and thought that this was going to work for my stickers. It's not going to work. Welcome back to Gem and Cozy, you guys. As you can see, we have a lot going on. <laughs> like a lot. I relocated my office and I wanted to bring you guys along for the chaos and organization so that we can look back at this process and be like, wow, it looks so good at the end. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. Let me take you guys back to the beginning so we're all up to speed. Hi, Sammy. Hi. Hi, sweet puppy. I knew we got so much mail and it rained yesterday, so we have all the drying racks out. Hey, sweet butt. I thought I was recording, guys, and I was like, okay, let me record us opening these boxes, and then I recorded nothing. I love the stack. It's very satisfying. We got these corrugated boxes and we are going to fix up all of my shelves and organize everything so that the sticky notes and the stickers all have homes and i found this person on amazon who was selling the boxes after this other shop didn't work out and then i was expecting this to arrive in like a week but it turns out they're one city over and it showed up the next day i'm so excited Ooh, this is gonna be so nice so it's like the length of my shelf. I think it's 18 inches and then we got two different sizes so we can put sticky notes in them and stickers and we got two boxes, two different sizes, 50 each. So we need to assemble a lot of boxes today. <laughs> okay, I'm going to open this on the floor because all the pre-order notepads are all over my table. So I don't even have room up there. Chaos! ordered a thousand more of these earlier on this time so that in case I run out I have them. Oh they turned out so pretty. They're so saturated. I bought the scented one too. They don't move as quickly but they're there. Um, the flick it till you make it were running out so I ordered more of those but these were for stationery clubs so I never ordered a large quantity of these to begin with. I think I just got enough for a little bit more than stationary club required and then the trying my best shooting stars have taken a rise to fame recently I'm not really sure why and i finally ordered the nobody is mad at you professionally because people just really like this design um, a lot of people tell me like it's like a great reminder and then um i wanted to change the coloring on it so I made it a little bit more vibrant and highlighted the stars and the nobody so hopefully people like it and then this one's for stationary club I'm so excited it says my ducks aren't quite in a row and then there's a pigeon <laughs> do you want to see it boyfriend isn't it cute the art print for March is also going to match this one and I've had this idea for a really long time and one of you guys even recommended it and I was like, oh wait, I have that idea too. So I thought it was gonna be perfect for my kind of like pond aquatic theme for this month. And I can't wait for the other one to show up. The other design is um, in production right now. I don't know what I'm doing this with my hands. Let's see how this looks. Gosh, they're so cute this is perfect for like little laptop spaces too because they're a long sticker so pretty so yeah. that actually is so the, yeah it's like a quarter inch less than four so mm. yeah it would have been too small would have been. yeah because most of my stickers are three inches so there'll, there'll be a little bit of extra wiggle room and I'll have these like going all the way across I think it'll still be good It'll be it'll be better than this chaos. Ooh, we're making it an organized chaos, and we are looking for my label maker, which we can't find, but we'll label everything too. Let's see how it goes. It is now empty. Yeah, it's good. I can see here for the stickers, notepads. I think this will be good. 
Guys, I am so tired today. We just adjusted the shelf and we're trying to make the spaces between the shelf smaller so that it will fit these boxes for the stickers. And normally I don't sleep in, but lately I have been randomly because I've been tracking so many orders. So I slept in today and then we went to Sam's Club and got some groceries. And I think that burnt me out. Oh yeah, Sam's Club was really busy because it's Saturday and then we also took my boyfriend's sister and her kids. So it was like a whole adventure. This does not want to stay. Okay, that's a little better. It was actually my first time in a grocery store with kids like that. So <laughs> it was actually really funny because like the kids wanted to talk to me and they were in the cart because two of them are like toddler age. A little older than that, but still fit. And they were just talking my ear off the whole time, which was adorable. It was also really distracting because I was like, what was I here to buy again? <laughs> Try to slide it in. <laughs> Somebody didn't put it in. <laughs> this is like a magic act. Watch it disappear. We're gonna take a break. It's the next morning, and about three paper cuts later, we got the sticky notes situated on one shelf. I have to say these bins are great for the sticky notes. We put two or three designs and we can pull the drawers out if we need to, or I can kind of visualize like where they are. And of course we're gonna label them. But I have to say the stickers are not looking so great. I tried moving one of my sticker trays into these bins and ideally we should have like five designs straight through but these edges are really sharp guys and reaching back here is not comfortable for me my boyfriend was saying his arms are longer so it's easier for him but we're gonna have to tape these top parts um so that i don't get more paper cuts they're very sharp so even when i was just moving things around in here i kept getting cuts so that was not fun and these just look really sparse and empty right now so we're figuring out what's the best solution with my limited space. A tiger! <laughs> oh yeah! Yummy! Oh, yummy. Oh, yummy. Oh, yummy. Yeah, that's the one Jason got. Did you get lemon pepper too? Okay, so it's the same dish then. Oh, okay. Yum! Goodbye! I'm looking at this footage and I'm like, oh my gosh, everything is chaos. Because it really is, I'm using a small phone stand on top of the massive pile of planners that you guys saw earlier in this video. And I am trying to motivate myself to finish quality checking all of these. It looks like all of them turn out great, but I just have so many boxes of sticky notes that I need to sort through. So I'm trying to meet myself at the energy level that I have today, which is pretty low. I've had a busy weekend, but I know that a lot of this needs to just move along in order to help clear the office as I'm reorganizing. So let's do this. There's not that many left in this box, so I feel a little bit better thinking that it will come to an end pretty soon. It's four different designs, including my duck off, my starry fox, fresh out of ducks, and the free hugs. 
The free hugs wasn't even one that I was planning on bringing back because it doesn't do as well as my other designs. But then it sold out recently and I was like, okay, I'll do one more wave since it seems to be picking up some traction. We'll see how it goes. Also, I have so many of these little scrap papers. They are cover sheets of my sticky notes. I don't always get them in every order. But when I do, they're just so cute that I've been cutting them and using them for my junk journal lately. If any of you guys want any, just let me know during checkout in the little note section that you want some of my sticky note cover pages. And I'll just send you whatever I have at the time if I have any. Because I ordered so many sticky notes recently, I have so many. So I'd be happy to send some of these along with your order if you'd like any. We still haven't figured out what's going to be the best way to organize these stickers. So it's sort of just all up in the air right now. I was like, do I want to put the utensil tray back in? And then my boyfriend was like, maybe we can 3D print some different little like custom trays. So I think he's testing that out. So for the time being, I kind of am just packing. <laughs> with everything everywhere, which is why my desk is chaos. There's really no place for everything to go right now. And I don't know, I feel like I'm fine with chaos as long as it's organized. Organized chaos is kind of my, my vibe. And as long as people don't move things around and I know where everything is, I usually do fine. I do think that my boyfriend's personality type does complement mine really well because he's very good about thinking about like efficiency and optimizing things and i'm not always on that page because i'm like always stressed out thinking about other timelines that it usually doesn't cross my mind to try to change an entire system of how i do something because i have so many open tabs in my brain so i'm always like no i need to do this i need to do that i'm not gonna have time to like flip my office inside out or change my entire website or something like that but he's very good at being like okay well what's slowing you down and what do you want to work on and stuff so it kind of forces me to think about it um, which is also extra funny to me because if i'm helping someone else with this same problem i would be that person who would have all those ideas because Helping someone else with their problem is so different from kind of being in it yourself because it's so much easier to be a third party and be like, oh yeah, you you should do this to optimize your packing station or that. Um, and it's just like, they're not having to think about all the other things you're thinking about. So it's really nice. Um, I try to keep that in mind too. I'm like, try to put yourself in an outsider's perspective when you're looking at your business and what would you want to address first? And I have so many things that I feel like I need to work on, but I'm also trying to be kind to myself and be like, you're one person, so things will happen when it happens kind of thing. <laughs> and I'm liking this routine I'm getting into where I'm bringing you guys along for packing or I guess restocking and then I edit it and post it on my YouTube like within a few days. So it's like all of the footage that I have doesn't sit in my phone for weeks, which is very comforting because I do not have enough memory for that and I feel like I'm getting the content out faster. This box is empty thanks to you guys hanging out with me and I think I need to go ahead and push through and open my other box of stickies. Let me just make sure all of these look okay. So. I really miss those days where I felt like I could be out all day and I wouldn't get tired. I feel like the 30s are hitting me so much harder and I get like way more back pain and fatigue. And I've always been one of those people who don't really drink coffee, so I don't even know if the tea is helping me. I don't know if it's a placebo. I don't know. So today was like a pretty full day and it was pretty sunny here in Georgia. So we started off at the park for like an hour with the kids and then we went to eat and then we went to get dessert. And then I was like, 
Wow, I feel like I'm just done for the day. But I feel like I feel that way a lot and I know a big part of it is because I'm not like eating right and I'm not exercising right. So we joined the gym towards the beginning of the year and then so much has happened which is like in my personal life there's a lot a lot going on and I don't want to go into detail but it's just been a lot emotionally um, and physically and some weeks are better than other weeks because it's an ongoing thing but because of that I feel like we haven't been able to use our gym membership as effectively so when I was journaling today I was like okay we need to like go to the gym at least two times this month because one, it's a waste of money, and two, I know it's going to make us feel better, and I want to like start lifting weights and just being healthier, and I'm all about this thing that this nutritionist said. Um, I think I just was watching like a random like video from a nutritionist, and they were saying that it's always important to just like think about adding good habits and routines into your diet and not about eliminating all the bad ones because that's just really hard to do. Oh no, my last video got cut off. It was supposed to be a lot longer and I kept talking but didn't realize that my camera stopped filming. That is probably a sign that this is a good stopping point for my video. But yeah, the whole idea of a sustainable habit building really spoke to me, so that is something that I'm keeping in mind and trying to work towards. As always, thanks so much for hanging out with me, you guys. Hopefully, I'll be back with a part two for my office makeover, and you'll see what happens with the sticker shelf. Thank you to Le Boucher. I hope I'm saying that right. This is headed to Italy for their amazing order. Take care, you guys, and I'll see you next time.